Aside from its famous islands and beaches, Cebu is also known as the center of culture and the arts down south. Let's take a look at what's happening in Cebu's art scene right now. The temporary art scene in Cebu um, for the past years or more recently has been thriving. Um, it's progressively advancing and it's getting to the point of really flourishing and I would say not just thriving but very active these days. The Cube Gallery is one of the leading art galleries in the South. Together with a handful of other progressive galleries in Cebu, they provide Southern artists venues for their exciting new work. Art collectors and enthusiasts looking for their next art acquisition will not be disappointed with the outstanding new work hailing from the South's art capital. We have agreed as a team to really advance the collaboration and the synergy of artists of the Visayas and Mindanao. Cebu is home to a growing list of young artists who are currently making waves in their chosen fields in the vast realm of the arts. Remton Zwasola, Keith Deliguero, and Victor Villanueva are critically acclaimed Cebuano filmmakers. Nicolo Nimor, or more popularly known as Nick Automatic, is a leading figure with a big cult following in the field of graphic design and streetwear here and abroad. Cebuanos are also recognized as a force to be reckoned with in the music scene, with acts such as Urban Dub, Franco, Maria Campbell, Missing Philemon, among others. So why are they so good at what they do? Art in Cebu has always been anchored on its identity or in its long tradition of excellence in its history and culture. And art here is patronized by, by, by the people. Patronized in the sense that um, they get to not just bec uh, become making themselves aware, but at the same time appreciating this and supporting this. Eventually, they get so much inspiration and in encouraged, and eventually they, they become more prolific in, in the arts. Now let's focus on Cebu's up-and-coming visual artists through Cube's gallery's latest exhibit, Heirs to the Throne. Because the artists that are featured here in Ears to the Throne are six artists whom we believe are very promising artists of Cebu. And they, these are the very artists that we even brought to the Manila Art late last year. And these artists are contemporary artists, um, different styles, different genres, but um, all of them speak so much of their identity, of their strength, and their passion. Thomas Hobson's works borders on magical realism and fantasy art. He paints and illustrates portraits and landscapes using ink, acrylic, and watercolor. Lee Taneo hails from Mactan but frequents her Olango rest house where she often finds inspiration from the sea and the shore. Kenichi Wani's works reflect his childlike humor and evokes what he describes as cute and eerie. Marvin Natural's current collection captures the innocence and vulnerability of youth. A self-taught painter, Natural is one of the most prolific painters in the Cebu art scene. Wendell Remonde incorporates everyday life realizations and experiences into his artwork of oil, acrylic, spray paint, and textile paint. Cebu's foremost conceptual artist, Kid Lat, considers his works as archive casualties of his personal experiences and the world around him. And from art that can adorn our walls, let's move to art that can be worn. The wearable art of young designer, Francis. So uh, what I do is that I partner with shops, like I collect their garbage, their plastic grocery bags, plastic bottles, and then I manipulate the material and then out of those materials we create clothes and some are fashion accessories and some are bags. Then they are exhibited in museums and in fashion shows here and abroad. They would call us as we're, um, sculptural fashion because it's not fashion as we know it and it's not also the art that we know it so it's halfway. It's very interesting. It's something new and it's not common here in the Philippines. 
This year, France's Avant Garde creations are going places in one of the world's major fashion capitals, no less. So I'm going to New York. So they invited me, the New York Fashion Show. And I'm the very first Filipino to represent our country. So it's a fashion show of different artists making use of garbage and making it into runway ready clothing. So the next time you visit the Queen City of the South, a fine time to discover more than just the latest version of Lechon. There's so much talent and creativity in this wonderful place. You can visit galleries, attend gigs, and witness the best of Cebuano artistry. Because these are the things that will truly make your Cebu trip one Gravihaka Rocks experience.